What's up, y'all? Welcome back. We got 88 athlete and old school athlete with us again, Miguel Paula. Hey, hey. All right. Today we're talking about chest. We're going to go over my top three exercises and Miguel's top three exercises to blow that chest up. Absolutely. Stay tuned. We're going to get into it. Before we get into the top three chest exercises for both of us, let's catch up with Miguel's prep. How's it going, brother? Prep is going really well, coach. Uh, we're down another three pounds this week. Weighed in this morning at 211 pounds even. Rocking and rolling, um, So we've kept macros the same. We've kept calories the same. We've kept cardio the same so far. Um, put me at a total of 24 pounds weight loss. My man. During prep. Uh, we're really trying to dial it in. Want to hit that stage lean and tight this time. Well, Dang, every right. time, but. <laughs> we're going to dial it in. He's bigger. He's got more muscle. And he's leaner than he's ever been at nine weeks out. We're coming for you, Chesapeake. Absolutely. OCB Chesapeake. We're coming, baby. We're yeah. getting that pro card. <laughs> Stay tuned. Miguel is nine weeks out. We're coming, y'all. Talking about chest today, y'all. Remember, there's two moves you can do for chest, presses or flies. Mm -hmm. But there's a whole heck of a lot of variations of those presses and flies. So let's kick it off. We're gonna start with my favorite chest exercise, the king of chest day, flat bench press. Go ahead and show us how it's done, Miguel. Let's get it. Big old flat bench, baby. Now this is my number one exercise. I like it overall strength. Overall pressing, overall size. It's going to give you your best chest gains, in my opinion, more than anything else. It hits your overall chest. You got upper chest, lower chest, mid chest. This bad boy is going to hit them all. All right. As you can see, Mr. Miguel here is doing perfect form. You bring it down, touch your chest, press it back up. Hands are slightly wider than shoulder width. It's a very basic compound move. You gotta load up the weight. Make sure you're loading up the weight on your big compound exercises and get it going. Number one, king of chest day. Flat bench press, baby. What's up, 88ers? Here we are talking about one of my favorite uh, bench exercises or chest exercises rather, is gonna be the incline barbell bench press. Uh, reason I like this is it helps hit this upper portion and region of the chest. It's gonna blow it up uh, help bring the chest up overall, and we're gonna get these nice striations in the middle going. Show them how it's done, coach. Same, so we're gonna get our grip a little bit wider than shoulders, load the weight up, guide the bar down to the chest, and then press all the way up through the top. That's perfect form right there. All right, like Miguel said, this is gonna build up your upper chest. A lot of guys are weak and lacking in their upper chest. So if you want to build up your upper chest, there's not a better exercise, in my opinion, than the incline barbell press. What do you think for upper Absolutely. chest? Absolutely. So it's been helping me a lot. That's been one of our main focuses this prep is bringing up my chest, my upper, and then hitting these delts a little bit with it too. Outstanding. So the first two exercises, big compound moves, flat bench press, incline bench press. They're probably the best two exercises you can do for your chest, by the way. So make sure you start in your chest workout, flat bench press, incline bench press. If you want to bring up your upper chest, do the incline first. If you don't need to bring in your, bring in your upper chest, do the flat first. Stay tuned. We're just getting started, y'all. Hey. All right, y'all. We're rolling on now. The next one is my pick. So my second pick for the chest is a decline dumbbell fly. I picked this so you can tar target your lower chest, which again is a weak area for a lot of people. I like to do decline because I can feel the street or the, the squeeze more, the isometric squeeze at the top of the rep, more so than I can on incline or flat. You can really feel it on the decline. That's why I picked this one. Go ahead and show us how it's done, Miguel. Yeah. Yes, sir. When you're on a decline, you don't necessarily have to be this steep of a decline, but this is perfect. Oh man, look at that chest, baby. You can see right here, you're coming up and squeezing. See that chest? Good stretch there, good squeeze. That is nasty, good job, Miguel. All right, anytime you're doing decline, you're gonna work lower chest. So, so far we hit flat, upper, and lower chest, y'all. We're killing this chest workout. We're not leaving nothing 
out of it. It's a complete workout. It's gonna blow your chest up. Check them out. First isolation exercise we're doing as well is these flies right here. Man, does that look good, brother. Holy smokes. Relax, what do you think, big boy? I love that, especially like you were saying, a lot of athletes, me included, lack in the lower chest. And that's one thing that's helped me out, bring out the fullness and roundness of the chest from top to bottom, is hitting these uh, dumbbell flies and just targeting this lower area here. You got it. Decline dumbbell flies, stay tuned, we're rocking and rolling. Hey, hey, we're rolling on here. Now we're on to my second favorite pick, which is gonna be incline dumbbell presses. So a little bit of redundancy, I know we're doing incline bench and then incline dumbbells. Reason I like this is because on the dumbbells, if you have any weakness in one part of your chest or the other, it's gonna show. And then we can kind of focus on working on that with these dumbbell presses. Well said, it's unilateral. So if you have a weak side, the dumbbells are gonna fix it. The barbells aren't necessarily gonna fix it. And just like with our incline bench and in incline dumbbell presses, gonna hit that top range of motion on the chest, help build up that shelf overall. You got it. Good stretch at the bottom and then squeeze, not your chest, but your upper chest at the top here. Absolutely. So. That's great coach. All right, great exercise, great pick. Uh, I've said this before, but Bumstead and whoever the current Mr. Olympia is, I can't think of their name right now, <laughs> Both pick dumbbell incline presses for their number one chest exercise. If Mr. Olympia thinks this is the best chest exercise, you might want to put a star next to that. Go ahead and start doing it, right? Great exercise, big man. All right, stay tuned. We got two more coming. After the incline dumbbell presses, another big compound move. We're going to go back to an isolation. My last pick is cable flies. Go ahead and show us how it's done, big man. Yes, uh, you can see right here, good stretch, good squeeze on that chest, outstanding, well done. I picked cable flies because of the constant tension you get on the cables. You can do dumbbell flies, and we just did dumbbell flies on a decline, but constant tension you get with the cables. There's dead spaces with dumbbells. Mm -hmm. There's absolutely no dead space with cable. Full range of motion, all the way back, tension, all the way forward, tension. There's no dead space, and it is a great isolation move. Look at this chest, just look at it. Look at it working, bam, right there, stretch, bam, my man, <laughs> relax, good job. What do you think of this one, big boy? Those are incredible, like you said, tension the whole range of motion, front to back, when you get that big stretch, feel it there, and then engage back on that fly. You got it. A muscle stretched under load has the most potential for growth. We're stretching that baby as much as we can. Look at that. Bam! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Stay tuned for Miguel's last pick. Hey, hey, rolling right along. We're here with my third and final pick, which is gonna be my first isolation movement on here is incline cable flies. Um, very similar reason to what coach stated earlier is we wanna load up that tension in the chest and keep it there the whole time. And again, my main focus during this prep has been building up my upper chest and trying to bring it up overall. So with these dumbbell cable flies, I'm sorry, with these cable incline flies here, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep tension in the top of the chest while isolating this movement and blowing the pecs up across the whole top so we can get, get, uh, <laughs> get deep striations in the middle and maintain that muscle growth. Absolutely. This is a great exercise. If you've never done this, this stretch right here while you're under load, you just doesn't feel the same as a dumbbell, man. These cables got constant tension all the way from here to here. Just constant tension, time under tension for your muscles in your upper chest, just like so. And you guys not, might not be able to see it right now, but the way this chest is firing, the fibers are going crazy. Oh, I feel it. <laughs> Trust me, I feel it. Like I said, if you haven't done that one, definitely give it a try. Great exercise. I mean, that's one of my favorites, by the way. Same. It is outstanding. If you keep your chest stretched and then squeeze the entire time, man, you're gonna burn that thing out and a great finisher for your upper chest. All right, y'all, stay tuned. We're gonna conclude and then recap this, baby. Hey. All right, y'all, before we recap this video, let's plug Miguel, 80 athlete and old school athlete. Go ahead, big boy, plug your stuff. Hey, guys, it's me again. Uh, just plugging in 
favorite supplement company we have here, Old School Labs. If you're looking for merch, if you're looking for supplements, if you're looking for anything old school, it's definitely gonna be at oldschoollabs.com. And if you wanna save some money while you're there, you can use my code, that's O-S-L Miguel. And uh, if you're looking for some good content, videos, um, you can follow me on Instagram. That's Natty Daddy underscore 88. My man, <laughs> Natty Daddy 88, baby. For Instagram is great, very inspiring, very motivating. Check his Instagram out, y'all. Thanks, Coach. Of course. Thanks for staying tuned to the end of this video. We recap every video so we can put in anything we forgot during shooting, y'all. So any tips or hints, stay tuned. We're about to drop them. All right, so we started with the king of chest day, flat bench press. My personal favorite. I don't have a weak upper chest. I don't need to bring my upper chest up, so I always start with flat bench press. My favorite, strength and size. I don't think you can beat it as far as chest goes. What do you think, people? I absolutely agree with you. And then going into my favorite right now is that incline bench press. I do have a weak upper chest. <laughs> <laughs> and that's something I've been wanting to bring up. So like coach said, if you're trying to bring that upper chest up and that's your focus, hit your incline bench first and then go to your flat bench. And that's what I've been doing, training, getting ready for this show and in the off season as well, Perfect. is we go from incline to flat bench. That way we can focus on the weak areas first and target them and then move into that next growth phase. And you can't argue with the results, baby. Thank you. That's a good note. And we should have mentioned this earlier. Miguel's top three picks were all incline moves. He's doing that because he needs to bring his upper chest up. That is great, great point. And if you are in the same situation, those should probably be your top three as well. Incline bench, incline dumbbell bench, and then incline cable flies, just in case you forgot. Yes, sir. All right, after we did the incline barbell bench, we went to decline dumbbell bench. My favorite fly, yo. I do a decline, even if I'm on a pec deck, I lean forward, mm -hmm. so it makes it a decline. So on you the can pec engage, deck. yes. You sir. got yep. it. It's all about the squeeze when we're talking about decline flies. You can really squeeze that chest, squeeze it together, and work that lower chest. Yeah. What do you think of the decline dumbbell? I love the decline, decline dumbbell flies. Like you're saying, it builds this lower portion of your chest. So when you go up, and you hit this front double on stage, if oh, you're man. lacking in that lower chest, it's definitely gonna show. It's gonna <laughs> flatten out here, while the rest of this might look good, it's gonna have a flat spot, and that's what we're trying to yep. avoid. Not a good look. <laughs> and I'm sure you've seen, if you're a fan, you've seen guys go like this and their chest disappears. That used to be me. That's exactly <laughs> what Miguel just said. If you do this and your chest disappears, man, you need to work on growing some chest there. Yeah. Baby. <laughs> All right, after the decline dumbbell flies, we went to incline dumbbell presses. Another incline move, another fantastic compound move for your upper chest. You need to bring that upper chest in, incline, incline, incline. And I'm gonna say it again, it's the top exercise picked by Mr. Olympia, so put a star next to that one. Any tips on that one? Um, like we said, with other uh, exercises, you wanna guide the weight back down in your negative portion while you stretch the muscles. Get, like Coach says, that max stretch and then max contract and then squeeze at the apex of the top of the movement. Hold it there for a moment and then go back into it and keep that range of motion. The perfect rep, y'all. Keep the negative, keep the squeeze and push the weights. Yeah. <laughs> All right, after that we went to cable flies. One of my favorite isolation exercises, the cables give you constant tension, that's why I picked it and you get a good stretch and a good squeeze. That's Those are my tips. Good stretch, good squeeze, constant tension. You got anything to add on to that one? I don't think I can build anything on that right there because those words live rent-free in my head all the time. <laughs> whether you're training with me or whether I'm training by myself, it's max stretch, max contract, and keep that squeeze and tension in the muscles. And that's what we try to do with my favorite last exercise, which is the cable incline flies. 100%. And again, same thing, we're trying to build this upper uh, portion of the chest, and though we've pre-exhausted it with our big compound movements, now we're gonna keep that tension in with the isolation movements on our cables, and we can really stretch, keep tension on the muscle the whole time, load it up, and squeeze, and get that max growth going on. Outstanding, absolutely. And, and like you said, a good stretch, good squeeze, you are on the bench. So you can let those cables go back and really stretch that chest and you're not resting y'all. 
Those yeah. cables have tension. So even right here, you're gonna feel a burn. You're gonna feel it working because there's still tension and then squeeze. This is a great one, man. The cable incline flies. Oh yeah. If you haven't done that, I highly advise just give it a try. You will blow that chest up. I, you know, it's one of my favorites. Man. Same. I do it all the time instead of dumbbells because I can feel it that much more. And it's another great upper chest exercise. All right. Anything else to add? Um, just with that, with these movements, you're really gonna see the difference whether you're a competitive athlete or whether you're just somebody in the gym trying to see some gains and make muscle growth. If you hit this side chest here, when you come into it and you're doing a full chest, you're gonna see from top to bottom right there, striations. And again, we want yeah. both sides, you know what I mean? You can see it come from the top. You'll start getting pec separation, showing from delts and everything else so your chest will stand out by itself you got it you want your chest to be separated and standing out by itself this workout will do it great workout put your time in push the weights and get some y'all all right thanks for staying tuned for more videos like this check out our play chest playlist excuse me <laughs> 88 fitness like and subscribe hey